Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. Uh, today's project is gonna be a little quick DIY. It is uh, painting my patio set. Initially I was gonna plan on buying a new patio set, but what I decided to do after all is get this here. This is Rust-Oleum. This is of course the clear enamel, but they've got the colored enamel, which this patio set that you're looking here, it's a three piece set. As you can tell, it is really faded. And instead of getting a new patio set, I thought, oh, maybe I can still get a couple more years out of this by using this. So I will be spraying this patio set. Uh, I'll be spraying this. This has got the clear gloss. I had pre uh, previously sprayed another chair, which is the same patio, the, you know, the, the set, the other set of this one. Uh, but I didn't use the one that has a clear in it. You definitely want to use the one with the clear in it. <clears throat> and excuse the mess over there. I'm having one of my rooms uh, completely remodeled along with the, math, the uh, downstairs bathroom. Anyhow, uh, going back to the paints. So this has got the clear gloss in it. So this is exactly what you want to use in a patio set. I feel that it's easier to clean. It's sturdier in terms of like humidity and the different changes in weather. So I'll be using this on this chair and then on my other chair, which I've already painted, matte, I'm gonna add, just add a clear gloss to it. It is a three-piece set. I'm just gonna show you exactly what I'll be doing with this one briefly. And then of course, I'll show you the final uh, result right after, stay tuned. Okay, so here is what the chair looks like. As you can tell, it's faded. It's not torn or anything, it's just simply faded from the sun. And though we do have it in a covered area, but during the day it does get a lot of sun. So it is very, very faded. So I'm gonna be adding some color. I went with the darker bronzy brownish finish. Uh, so let's get started. I've got my glove on already. You definitely wanna wear a glove because even though you're just spraying, but I ended up getting my middle finger full of paint. So this time I'm not gonna do that. So I wore a glove and then you want to also wear a face mask because I don't care but I mean either way the breeze is going to be hitting every which way so it you'll be inhaling some of this stuff so you're better off wearing a pretty thick face mask and yeah. Okay let's get started. <laughs> 